happy birthday, Layla and Lily. That's right, you're invited to this very special puppy birthday party. So give a big round of applause to Layla and Lily. <laughs> Layla is turning three. And Lily is turning one. Today we're looking back at our past year with them and giving you some of the highlights. Including how easy has it been to integrate a new puppy into a home with an older dog. Sorry Layla about the older dog reference. <laughs> Only slightly older. <laughs> Pink is for Layla. Pink is always for Layla. What's this Layla? And blue <laughs> and red for Lily. No, this is yours Lily. That's yours. On the 24th of February 2022, we brought Lily home. Our decision to bring a new dog into the family was based on us now having more space since we moved from our one bedroom apartment into a new home. Layla is an energetic and playful dog, so we thought she would love a sister to play with in her new home. There's a little bit of fighting going on. <laughs> Never work with animals. What was it like when Layla and Lily first met? Oh, well, poor Layla got a bit car sick on the journey home, Aww. so she wasn't particularly interested in Lily. Lily had had a very long journey for a young pup, so she wasn't particularly interested in Layla. And most of the time, they were just sleeping that evening, which oh. is not what we expected <laughs> at all. The next day, the fun began, and they just loved each other. They were playing with all the toys. Lily loved all the toys, and she, she just immediately seemed comfortable here. So what were some of the challenges? For us, it wasn't actually too bad. The main thing we were concerned about was that Layla had enough personal space when she needed it because puppies can be very uh, persistent. Lily is still very persistent even after a year if she wants Layla to play. She doesn't give up. So we have to make sure that Layla has her own space where she can go. You know, she's a teenage dog, so <laughs> teenagers like their own space. We also try to make sure that Layla still had a lot of access to us so she didn't feel jealous or left out even though puppies need so much time and attention. Mm. One of the challenges is when we give them treats that take maybe like a few more moments to eat like a chewy treat because they'll try and take each other's <laughs> and Layla hates if Lily gets too close to her while she's eating her mm. food. She'll actually do a little like warning bark you know and Lily does back off. I think Layla's the alpha but um, she, that doesn't stop her from trying sometimes. So when we give them those types of treats, we make sure that they're not together or that we're able to watch them just so a fight doesn't break out. So do you think they love each other? The moment I knew for sure that they loved each other was after Lily was spayed and she had a little operation. So her tummy was cut open and she had a little scar and some stitches. And she came home and she was still drowsy from the anesthesia and we put her in her playpen just so that there was nothing she could hurt herself on. And Layla sat outside her playpen watching and crying, so concerned, didn't know what had happened to Lily. It was just the sweetest moment. Mm, yeah. It's like, oh, they do love each other. Well, they do sleep uh, cuddled up to each other a lot of the time, don't they? They do, yeah. They love to snuggle. They're kind of doing it now, but yeah. in the calmer moments, I think that's when they... Let yeah. their guard down. <laughs> Which is sometimes few and far between. <laughs> yes, indeed. Especially when we're filming. As, yeah, that's when they usually go crazy. Today's a good day, though. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> the day when we want them to be on camera. Yeah. <laughs> they are the same breed, toy poodles. So does that mean they have the same or similar personalities? <laughs> Not at all. As dissimilar as two dogs could possibly be, that's how dissimilar they are. Just in their body language, Layla is a lot more graceful and elegant and dainty and Lily is very strong and slightly clumsy and boisterous. <laughs> and uh, I think Layla is a princess. Layla's a princess. Lots of attitude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whereas Lily's just happy to be there. She's yeah. just so happy. Layla's very choosy. She's choosy about which toys she plays with. She's choosy about the people she loves. She's choosy about her food. Whereas Lily loves everything. <laughs> she loves all the people, all the toys, all the food. <laughs> But I think it's a case of opposites attract. Mm. So what are their favourite things to do together? Oh, well, I can't actually say the word, so I'll spell it. W. Oh! Oh! Lady's <laughs> <laughs> very advanced for her years. You know? Spelling is a strong point. I think there's a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction going on. <laughs> is, this, is this little tutu a bit itchy? What do you think of their little ballet tutu skirts? <laughs> 
<laughs> this I one is like a little every time I order an outfit for them, it's never quite how I envisioned. Well, they have got little hats to wear, but we had to put them on the dogs there. And these, oh, yours is disfired. <laughs> these are neckerchiefs, but as you can see, I mean, you would have to be like an old English sheep dog. To be yeah, yeah. <laughs> it said that they were designed for small dogs, but obviously, <laughs> Layla was not having that. She knew no, that that didn't fit her. No, no, she was not wearing that at all. There we go. Now we're all in the birthday spirit. What do you think? For those of you who don't know us yet, we are two Brits who live in the USA. Mum, you had to go home to the UK for a very long time, not so long ago. What was it like when you first saw Layla again after nine months? I was so frightened that she, she would have forgotten me. And I really was. I thought, oh, well, that's it now. I'm not going to be special to Layla anymore. You know, she's going to think, oh, who's this coming back? And it was the best thing ever. She was so excited to see me. And, oh, we had so many kisses and cuddles. It was a lovely moment. And what were your first impressions of Lily? Oh, well, I thought she was just like a little chocolate colored teddy bear. And she was so lively and so loving and adorable. And I wasn't shy at all. No, she's not <laughs> shy and she has a big heart. She's got a lot of love to give. She has. So, what does the future hold for Layla and Lily? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from World War Three, oh goodness. One goal that we have for them in the near future is um, to, to take them on some trips. Okay, not the grandma's house though. <laughs> no, we thought it'd be nice if they could be part of that experience. Mm. Um, but we just don't know how they'll do in a different environment for a whole night or two nights. So we're going to just take it slowly. We're going to go somewhere local and just see how they do. If not this, always a place for them at grandma and grandpa's. You heard that, didn't you? That's on tape. <laughs> <laughs> on tape. On tape. Showing my age, on sir. Tape. On tape. On tape. <laughs> God, I would have God. been crucified if I had said tape. I was going to say, if you want any advice about owning two dogs, then come to me. But after seeing this video, you probably won't. Everyone will go, no, let's just stick with the one. Yeah. But seriously, if you do have any questions, then I'm more than happy to give my feedback or my experience or my opinions just to help out. So drop your questions below for us and um, we'll get back to you. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a pause up and subscribe to us on YouTube.